here in Mabon County, we're, we're very close to what is an active conflict zone, a place where people are fighting. There's a lot of aerial bombardment and ground fighting that's happening. Because of that, tens of thousands of people are flooding into this area, almost 200,000 people. And of this entire area, there's only one hospital run by Samaritan's Purse. There's only one place where all of this community can go when they need physical assistance with medical conditions. And there's one guy, his name's Dr. Attar, and he's here serving all of those people to provide them help. We're the only surgical referral center in all of Mabon County. We're averaging somewhere between 20 to 30 surgeries every single week. So Dr. Attar, he may be in surgery, you know, five, six, even seven surgeries every single day. I'm the only surgeon here who is really doing the, these surgeries, and they are coming from all directions. We are really overwhelmed with the situation, and uh, it's so difficult that we can't cope up. We have emergencies during the day, during the night, and we continue to work like 24 hours every day, seven days in a week. Dr. Attar is one of the greatest men I have ever met and ever had the privilege to work with. Dr. Attar was working with Samaritan's Purse in Blue Nile State, which is now the Republic of North Sudan. When the fighting happened, all the expatriate staff, we were evacuated for our safety. But Dr. Attar decided to stay behind. He's South Sudanese, those were his people. He felt like he couldn't leave in the time of war, in the time of fighting. The government forces came in and destroyed the town. We didn't know whether he was alive or dead. About three weeks later, we get a phone call from him. He tells us that he's safe, and he's now in Maban, Upper Nile, where we are now. When Samaritan's Purse arrived in Maban, we had no place to work. There was a hospital structure that was built, but had never been used. There were 15 beds, but really no staff, no medicines. Samaritan's Purse came in, and we built new buildings. We built a new ward. We built a surgical theater. Then we started actually working to change it from the primary health care center into a hospital. Up to this moment, we're still trying to adjust with so many things. The hospital caseload is massive on a daily basis. Today, we have over 100 patients, inpatients, but our capacity is 60 beds. If we squeeze, it will go up to 70, but now we have more than 100. One of the great things about Dr. Attar as well is the fact that he is South Sudanese. All of the refugees, all the South Sudanese love him. Even refugees from the camps that are far away, we find those patients will walk all the way to our hospital just because they want to see Attar. We apply the silver nitrate for the burns, so he's healing and I think it's going to maintain the skin. Probably the greatest need we have in the hospital right now is just the need for more space, more, more facilities. One thing that we really need and really request is for the help of more doctors, especially surgeons, medical professionals, to come and assist ATAR, people that would be willing to commit for up to a year at a time to work with refugees and to provide medical services, provide surgical services. We look at the sea of humanity that comes in. We see individuals that we're serving here, people that are just like you and me. They have their families, they have their homes, they want to take care of their children. And a place like this, this kind of hospital, this is almost like a lifeline for them, a place where they can come to help meet their basic needs as people created in the image of God who are in need of the hand of hope that we are able to offer them in the name of Jesus.